Hey everybody, welcome back to the Comic Wall. It's your girl, the Outcast Angel, and today let's talk about issue four of The Weatherman. And holy crap, guys, this series is just getting uh, more intense as each issue goes by. And it's just, oh, this issue gave me chills. Anyway, jumping in, uh, we uh, drop in back on Mars, the city of Tharsis, where um, this new character, Garen, is meeting up uh, on some kind of drug deal. They have several crates of pneumonium, which as we saw, I think it was last issue, uh, is a drug that helps you remember certain memories that um, uh, can help you remember the good ones and the bad ones. So um, we see uh, Garen meeting up with um, this woman. I'm not sure what her name is, but I'm actually not sure what her name is. They address her as headmistress. And so um, she continues to say how like the price is too high for these things. Um, but Garen's, you know, not taking it like you, you don't you don't like it we can leave and you can take your baby men back to brown town um but um when they count the money it's all there and he starts you know ch uh, searching one of the men he uh that the headmistress has and as uh he's starting to cart away the pneumonia that's when she pulls an attack she says um she says, the only thing that could possibly bring me more joy will be watching your wretched squealing forms spill out onto the concrete. And we see all these other men dressed in what look like schoolboy uniforms, ill, uh, line up and pointing their guns at uh, Garen and his men. And that's when we start hearing this uh, beeping and the man that um, one of the men that's standing next to uh, the headmistress who was searched by Garen pulls out a ball that he uh, that Garen put in his pocket and uh, we see Garen press a detonator basically blowing him and the headmistress up in flames and holy crap and so oh I think her name is Janice I guess because Garen says bad move Janice Greed is a sin. Now I gotta take you to church. And then the headmistress who survived the attack, or the explosion, not very well, to be honest, says, expel them. And uh, I can't I can't get over the stupid little um, at attack names in, uh, related to whatever it is they're doing. I don't know. It's, it's just weird. But then Garen pulls out this huge Gatling gun, or just crazy machine gun and takes all of them out along with the uh, along with the rest of the men who just mow them down and it wasn't much of a fair fight and so they end up taking the taking the, the pneumonia and the money and um, that's when Garen, Garen the last thing we hear Garen say I want to make it rain what is he going to do you know now we see this playground full of children and we see uh what's your face uh we see um uh agent cross sitting down talking with uh mrs morgan with a little boy by her side and um as the little boy goes to play um uh it, it, cross is watching after him and as mrs morgan is saying I have no patience for crazy people. Look, uh, like my Loomis always said, the Lord will never give us more than we can handle. But that's when we start seeing people panicking and running. And we see this giant cloud of what looks like static enveloping the city and the playground. And we see um, Amanda's son getting consumed by this. And... Uh, Amanda runs after him screaming Shone I guess I'm not sure what his name is and we see him just fall apart in as a skeleton it almost looks like the the type of attacks that uh, ha that take place in like Mars attacks when they use those weapons against the humans and they turn into like 
uh, green or red uh, mounted zombies or I mean skeletons you know and that's when this mist envelopes um, envelops uh, cross and that's when she wakes up I'm a little confused by this because I don't think Amanda actually had a son because if she did or if she does where is he or did he die on earth so then Amanda picks up what's left of her stuff which um, Nathan actually left laying by so yeah Nathan actually didn't kill her I, I knew he didn't have it in him but she ends up running off into the rain and that's when we see uh, this party going on that Garen is actually throwing and we see Garen and his uh, one of his uh, men talking you know just um, talking to this woman and and as they're you know partying it up whatever we see Amanda showing up at the front doors of this building and uh, pretty much just taking out the guards just fighting everyone in her path and this is when uh, Garen starts to say People with no future, how much do you think, how much time do you think they got left? Any of us. Um, how long before another attack like the one on Earth? And um, his uh, his partner here saying, you crazy son of a, are you serious? How are you even going to do this? And then that's when we see this storm brewing uh, over the city and it starts raining pneumonium all over the city holy shit how why would uh someone like that do that like um i mean people don't give freebies on drugs at, at least i don't think like to do that is just insane you know and then as cross is getting ready to fight a whole lot more um uh soldiers or guards uh we see the city being rained on with pneumonia and we see all these people like reliving their best memories we see someone saying first place it's a boy i do um and some of them kind of just being blank you know and so uh garen's partner is saying i'll be damned how did you do it he's like i called in a favor but then he ends up walking off with his partner's girl so yeah he kind of just screws everyone over in, in the end, I guess. And then as he and this woman are uh, having a little bit of passion, a uh, little bit of a passionate moment, we see a knife being brought up to Garen's throat. Turns out it's Amanda. And she says, listen, we don't have a lot of time. I just need to talk. But uh, Garen doesn't want to hear it and ends up uh, punching her in the face saying, you got no right to be here. Uh, the, 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 is this some kind of setup? But uh, Amanda ends up saying, "No, I'm alone, but I need your help." And he ends up trying to kick her out again. But then he sees all his guards laying on the floor, where he's like, "Like, um, like, oh, come on!" And Amanda says, "I'm not asking, Garen. You think I need evidence to um, to get anything on you?" And that's when he when she says, "There's no one else. Please, I'm in a lot of trouble." I just need to find someone and then we see Nathan dressed up in this tiny little well not tiny little but like this huge bear costume which I think is actually a throwback or a homage to um, to some some other image comic series that I haven't read but I don't know the I don't get the the tribute I guess you know and he's getting this bowl of brutal noodles right in the open and that's when uh that's when white light and uh, i forgot i forgot his name um well the sh this sheriff guy find him and say nathan bright and that's when he's like uh i'm just big bear jenkins they call me on account of this uh bear suit you know but then the brutal noodle guy ends up um giving him away because of his brutal bucks card and they end up leading him away and he's been captured of course he would get captured right after you know it's like you would you wouldn't he should have just uh held out with cross in the meantime you know anyway now we see garen um with um, with amanda in this 
hangar talking to this guy saying where he's like don't kill me please and that's when uh garen says the two he's describing that's the marshal there we go and white light they work for a psychopath called the pearl high on high on the list uh, for worst person in the galaxy he's like if you don't want to get on the pearl's bad side or else you'll disappear end of story your friend is gone and that's when the cross is like he's not my friend but either way he's gone is what garen says and um he's trying to say like let it go he's he's gone don't don't chase after this but that's when uh amanda realizes you work for him garen works for the pearl but turns out he did some hard labor on the moon uh because of the pearl because the pearl ended up screwing him er over or ended he ended up being on the pearl's bad side and so you know he doesn't he has no desire to go after or go against him for that one thing and as they're talking um we see this uh screen pop up in the middle of what they're talking and garen says remember this and that's when we see the whole um the whole attack on um on earth with this static cloud whatever it was you know but then um no wait that wasn't him no that wasn't him that wasn't garen um it was the screen and that's when the pearl comes on screen saying sure you do 18 billion people your friends your family the entire population of earth murdered by the sword of god yes those terrorist scumbags are still at large and probably planning a bigger attack as we speak but how would you what would you do if even one of those monsters uh got if you got your hands on one of them you know uh burn them alive torture them to death split their head open with an axe all of the above and that's when he says ladies and gentlemen today is your lucky day um uh, special operator for the former united states military and founding member of the sword of god ian black and we see nathan strapped up to this machine behind him with all these tubes and wires coming out of him and it says and the pearl says take a good look folks that right there is the absolute face of evil incarnate and oh, we see this nathan just looking terrified and he's, he says, for the next three hours, our call centers will be taking your bids for time in the virtual murder room. Uh, we'll fly the winning bidders along with a guest to a secret location where you'll be psychically, psychically connected to Ian Black's mind. Don't worry, you're perfectly safe. But he's not. Um, and we see uh, Nathan being torn apart by this guy who's being strapped up to this chair as well and it says once you're connected you'll be able to murder maim and mutilate this terrorist asshole over and over again uh in the worst ways you can imagine and to him it will feel like it's actually happening um but there are only but there are only a hundred spots available after this his brain turns into mush and he dies for real uh-oh and so um Basically, it goes into saying, join us, won't you? Let, let's let kill Ian Black together and make what's left of our solar system a safer place to live. And we see Amanda looking absolutely terrified because she knows she doesn't have a lot of time. And so I'm excited to see where this series goes because it's just, it's getting absolutely crazier. So anyway, th that's the end of this video. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys liked it. And if you did... Drop a like, show the love, hit that subscribe button to get more of my videos, ring the bell to get notifications of when I post new videos, so that way you guys stay updated and don't miss out. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.